Good morning to you. It's 6.15 on Thursday, April the 16th. You're watching TV AM. I'm Mike Morris. And I'm Caroline Wright. And for the next 45 minutes, we'll be bringing you all the latest news and sports headlines. Our special guest this morning, the Roman Catholic Bishop of East London, the Right Reverend Victor Guazzelli. Yes, and David Philpott has been called to the rescue in the absence of Wincy, who's still not feeling too good. David will be here keeping you up to date with all the weather. And uh, Adrian Brown, well, he'll have all the latest news from the financial world. Then at 7 o'clock, Anne Diamond will be here with uh, Good Morning Britain, of course. First, though, let's get the first news headlines of the day from Caroline. The two British women who've been caring for sick and wounded refugees in Beirut are due to arrive back in Britain within the next hour. Dr Pauline Cutting and Susan Whiten spent months in the besieged Burj El Barajni camp, saving the lives of scores of Palestinians, despite appalling conditions. NATO officials in Brussels will today get a personal briefing on Mr Gorbachev's arms control offer from the American Secretary of State George Shultz. Mr Shultz said considerable progress had been made following his three-day visit to Moscow. After letter bombs were sent to three of Mrs Thatcher's staff, Scotland Yard's anti-terrorist squad are warning public figures to be on their guard when they open this morning's mail. Among the intended victims yesterday was her press secretary, Bernard Ingham. Police fear it's the start of a new IRA letter bomb campaign. Now financial news, and in Tokyo a few minutes ago, the Nikkei Dow stood up 309 at 23,819. The FT index in London opened shortly at 1515, up 8. And on Wall Street, the Dow Jones index opens later today, up 30 at 22,23. Mike. Thank you, Caroline. And as I just said, Commander David Philpott is with us, riding to the rescue in the absence of Wincy, and looking very fit to boot. You've been to Silly Isles, haven't you, David? The Isles of Silly, they prefer to call them. Yes, I yes, have Yes, those two. Hello, I hope you like that in the Isles of Silly. It was lovely in Tresca. Now then, today, well, uh, a few showers still in the extreme north of Scotland, and quite a